springtime is here and I am so excited to be sharing with you guys my go-to spring fragrances. I try a lot of perfumes, okay? And when I say a lot, I mean a ton. This is ridiculous. There are a lot of fragrances that I think are beautiful and smell absolutely intoxicating, but when I wear it on my skin, it doesn't smell the same and I get so disappointed. And when I invest in a fragrance, I want it to smell incredible on me. The key here is to find a fragrance that mixes well with your chemistry specifically, you know? So I like to buy a little sample, I smell it, I wear it for a day, and it either comes alive on my skin and smells absolutely wonderful, or it's just okay and you don't want to be spending a lot of money on fragrance that's okay, right? So that's why I have so many different samples. So these are my favorite for spring. Number one, Parfum de Marly, Delina Rosé. I love Delina. I think it's a beautiful scent, but the rosé is next level. I never thought that I would be someone who would wear a rose fragrance because rose always came across so mature, but this is a young, juicy rose. It's sweet. It opens with pear, lychee, bergamot. It especially screams springtime because of the watery notes in the peony. This smells like roses on top of water with a little bit of complexity because it does have a little woodiness. It has that addictive musk quality. <sighs> so if you're looking to invest in something that's gonna last you years to come, that smells light, airy, romantic, this is a compliment getter and you might really love it. If you typically stay away from rose, I think you'll like this. It's a perfect fragrance to grab on a daily basis when you wanna go run errands because it's sophisticated, but fun and flirty too. Let's do this one next. Oof, you guys. Byredo, Ball de Freak. Wow. The moment I put my nose to this, I was like, that smells so expensive. It smells unique. It smells alluring and mysterious. It's kind of like, I know that that smells like money, but what's in it? It's not a straightforward type of springtime floral. There's so much depth and complexity, but yet it's light and uplifting. You know, I picture the woman who wears this scent to be sophisticated and well put together. She's smart and sexy. She wears those high-waisted pleated trousers, you know, with the Oxford style button-down shirts that are crisp white with the collar popped, a little peekaboo of her lace bra. She wears elegant shoes, the best accessories. She is the it woman. Um, but she has a little bit of mystery to her, a little alluring, a little bit of a addictive quality to her that you just want to be around her because she's fun, but she's so chic, you know? I never heard of the note Marigold, and this opens with lemon, bergamot, and African orange flower, so it's definitely a citrus opening, but it's nothing overwhelming. It's really smooth, you know, like a whiskey, like a wine. And then it has jasmine and violet. I didn't know that I liked violet. Wow. And then the complexity comes in with the vetiver, the musk, the cedar. It has amber in it to warm it up and it's just addictive. Ooh. I would also refer to this as a model off duty type of scent. The cool girl that just doesn't have to try very hard. She's very natural, but she's very chic. If you're looking for a fragrance like that, I think this screams springtime elegance and it's different. I've never smelled a fragrance quite like this. So this one is a man's fragrance, marketed for men, right? But I think women could easily wear Chanel Blue. This is a powerhouse of a scent, perfect for spring and summer. It's very sexy. When you smell it on a man, it makes your eyes roll back, okay? This is for a man who can grow a full beard. Picture a tall, athletic Italian man who has the abs, the pecs, the beautiful jaw structure. He wears a perfectly tailored suit when he comes to pick you up for a date. And you go to dinner, he takes you to the best restaurants. You're so excited to spend time with him because he's gonna give you the night of your life. If he's not already your husband, he's gonna be, okay? This is balsamic, fresh, spicy, woody, but it's bright and aromatic. Of course, it's gonna open up with some citrus. That seems to be the theme today. It has pink pepper, mint, iso -E super. I need to look it up, I need to Google exactly what it is, but I love a fragrance when I see that note. Uh, nutmeg and ginger. 
I was not expecting that. I've smelled several fragrances that have nutmeg and ginger. I can't smell it in here at all, but this is the first time I've liked that combination. There's so much complexity in this scent. It's classy and it smells rich. If a woman wears it, very sultry, very seductive and animalistic, you know? This is the I don't play around sexy scent. I love that it works both on man and woman. When Chris wears this, it's an automatic yes. I don't care what you ask me, I don't care what you want. Yes, anytime, anywhere, put it on. Then take it off. Incense, vetiver, musk, woods, patchouli, all of the good stuff in the dry down, so it has a lot of depth as well. Love, Chanel Blue. Next, let's do, let's do Chanel Chance. This is a woman's fragrance, and maybe I shouldn't say man and for woman. Chanel Chance is one of those perfumes that are constantly being pushed in your face every time you go to Macy's or wherever. They're like, try the new Chance because there's pink and green and a new one came out recently. I haven't even smelled it, but to me, this green bottle is the best one. She is stunning. She is professional. She's a boss, but she's also just sexy. Chanel is very good about putting the note of sexy in the fragrance, just sneaking it in there, even though it's supposed to be a fresh, crisp scent, that sexy takes over. I used to wear this all the time to work when I was at the dental office, and the compliments were constantly rolling in. I would just put one spray on my chest, so throughout the day when you know your body gets warm, it would just permeate off of me. It would come through my clothes. Like This is a beast mode of a fragrance for such a light kind of scent. This scent commands respect when she walks into the room. She exudes confidence and she doesn't have to try very hard. She just is. There's definitely a confidence um, in this bottle. You put it on and you're like on top of the world. You can achieve anything, accomplish anything. You are the problem solver for everyone in the office. It's not too overpowering, so it's definitely appropriate for work, but if somebody comes up to you, they can definitely smell it, but you're not gonna fill the room unless you overspray, because like I said, one spray was all it took. What's different about the opening in this one, although there's citrus, it's also combined with cedar wood. I was trying to think, what kind of wood is it? Cedar wood is typically in the dry down. This is straight away in the opening. So beautiful. There's also pink pepper, white musk, vetiver, teak wood, iris and amber, I think. You will be not disappointed. You will be repurchasing this just like I do. It's very, very good. Okay, Dolce & Gabbana. This is a classic. This is the Dolce Intense. We all know and love Dolce & Gabbana, light blue, right? But do you know the Intense? I have never heard a man say that he does not like the way this smells on a woman. You know, coming from Florida, Everybody wore this scent back in the early 2000s and it was considered the sexy scent because you can go out uh, to the bar or the club, you can dance all night. This was the summer, it's like always summer in Florida, but it was the warm weather go-to scent if you wanted to smell sexy. It was the date night, I want attention winner. So this is very straightforward. It's citrus. Oh but it is strong on this sexy note, okay? I don't know exactly what's doing that, but I can tell you that it opens with green apple along with the citrus. Green apple. Mm. And then it has jasmine and marigold. Maybe that's what it is, the marigold that I like in the Ball de Freak because these two, every summer and every spring, nonstop for the rest of my life. They're classic, they're never gonna go out of style, and they smell sexy, and you will be noticed. It has a simple dry down of musk and uh, amberwood, I almost said sandalwood. Is it sandalwood or amberwood? One of those. So it's a pretty straightforward type of scent, but I think it's the marigold in there that makes it go, ooh, hold on. And the longevity, the performance, very good. Eight hours plus. If I spray this on my clothes, it's on my clothes for two days. If I spray it on my skin, I can smell it the next morning. It is definitely one that I would overspray with just because it's that good and it's still light and crisp so you're not gonna offend. It's not gonna be like, oh girl, like overpowering. And I like anything with jasmine too, but the floral in here is very slight. It's in the background, just hanging out. It's a crowd pleaser, very likable and I think a lot of people do wear it because it's so good. All right, what about Coach? 
So I purchased this one a year ago. I think it was last spring actually. I just went to Ulta and picked it up. I love the packaging. And my favorite part, you might be thinking like, where's the cap? Girl, you turn it to open and close it. Is that not cute? It's definitely uncommon for fragrance, right? But this was created for springtime. This is the ultimate, I want a floral that's not like so flowery, but it's like perfect for springtime. This is it, it's a, a little bit sweet, a little bit floral, not too much of anything, great for every day. When I smell this, I think of a woman who's in one of those strappy dresses that have the corset top, and it's very long and flowy. You know, it's whimsical, it's pretty. And maybe she's walking up a hilltop with a blanket and she's spreading it out on the freshly cut grass. She's planning a picnic. You know, she's got ribbon in her hair. It's long and flowy. She's elegant. She's dreamy. She's whimsical. When the wind blows, you kind of get a whiff of what that fairy tale of a woman smells like. This is it. So if you love the pretty girl scent, this is a good one. Longevity isn't so great, but it does last four hours plus on my skin. The atomizer on here is phenomenal. It's a very, very fine mist. And again, I just love the packaging. I always like to buy the small sizes of everything because I can easily throw them in my bag. I'm constantly you know, switching depending on my mood, like most of us do. But yeah, this is the, I'm wearing my big vacation hat type of scent. There's raspberry, gardenia, rose, but the rest of it is suede, musk, cashmere. -in. Like it's a pretty one, very light and uh, effortless. This is perfect for running errands because it's nothing too crazy. Um, perfect for every day. In the springtime. <laughs> I'm so excited you guys, these are truly my favorites. This one's really floral too. I don't know which Burberry this is. She is very, very floral. The most floral thing that I have in my collection. So if I want to smell like the girl with the flower in her hair, I grabbed this one. I've had it for several years and I always get compliments on this from other women, not so much on men. Cause I think men like things that have more of the sexiness to it. And women are like, ooh, that smells beautiful and whimsical and soft. I always get women coming up to me when I wear this. Such a classic, I feel like it'll never go out of style. That's a great one too. But right now, let's talk about my two travels. I think, oh no, these are my last ones or my travel size. Okay, so the first one is Beach Walk by Replica. This has been really popular for the past couple of years for good reason. And of course, it is a summertime scent, but also it is appropriate for spring. Pretty much any warm weather. Ah, oh, to me, this has a really beautiful soapy scent like bubble bath, not like dish soap, something soft and elegant, like a really, really expensive body wash. So it has like a cleanliness scent to it, note to it. And then it just goes straight beach, you know? Like you're in your bikini, you're at the beach, you put this on and you just blend in with your surroundings fully. It has the typical pink pepper, bergamot, lemon opening, but then it gets warmer with this like tonic quality with coconut milk. And I think that's what makes it so beachy. My skin chemistry loves coconut. So anytime I spray this directly on my skin, my body is like, yes, this is made for us. It also has ylang, ylang heliotrope, musk, benzoin, and cedar. There's always some kind of cedar or amber or something, right? This is cedar. <sighs> okay, put it away. You can't talk about beach walk and not talk about lazy Sunday morning. I'm gonna get the big bottle of both of these. It's just, I wanna go through my little travel vials first. So lazy Sunday morning, it's floral. Like I can definitely smell clean linen, not soap, nothing soapy, but clean linen sheets and then soft florals. And there's some kind of wood in here too to kind of balance everything out. This is a powerhouse of a skin scent. I think beach walk and Lazy Sunday Morning and Chloe, which is the other one. They're skin scents, you know, they really come alive with the warmth of your body and they're not too overpowering. Perfect to wear at church or on an airplane when you don't want to offend anyone, but you want something, just a little something. Because even body sprays can be just way too much on an airplane. This is perfect if you just do one spray. Or if you're out and about, you can just douse yourself in it. Drench yourself, create the whole scent cloud and enjoy your day, girl. But yeah, it's happy, it's uplifting. You can't help but smile when you wear these two. They're very joyous types of scents and definitely an everyday 
kind of thing. I recently watched a What's in My Bag video from actress Zoe Saldana, and she mentioned a fragrance by Frederick Maillet called Carnal Flower. Does that not sound like the most sexy spring scent you could get your hands on? And you know, she's Latin and then her husband is Italian and they have three little kids and they all talk with their hands. They're very Italian like their father. They speak three different languages in the home constantly. I love interviews with her because she's so chic and so lovely as an actress and as a person. Her and her husband do so much for homeless. They're just activists in general and I love what they stand for. But anyway, she's so sexy so of course she wears a very sexy scent. So I looked up this carnal flower. It opens with tuberose and eucalyptus, jasmine and coconut. Does that not sound beautiful? It has orange blossom, ylang ylang, white musk, melon and bergamot. I immediately thought, a perfume with melon? Never have I ever. I cannot wait to sample it. If you've tried Carnal Flower, please tell me about it. It's very old, it's very classic. She's been wearing it for years. So, I believe it came out in 2005. I think I looked it up. But yeah, I really wanna try that. So these are my favorite beautiful fragrances, perfect for spring and summer. Let me know what you guys thought of this video. Please, please tell me your favorite springtime scent because I'm always looking for something that smells good. I will get a sample of it and if it wears well on me, you better believe I'll invest in a full bottle because smelling good is literally a hobby, is it not? It's fun. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Thank you.